as a rheumatologist, I see mostly patients with autoimmune disease or rheumatic disease, uh, commonly in the inpatient setting. Um, the patients usually come in for two different reasons, right? You're going into the hospital either because our current drugs are not potent enough or because our current drugs are not specific enough. So the disease is called antiphospholipid syndrome. It has been known for a while and we actually understand the disease in a lot of detail for the last 30 years. Um, in these people, and often these are, think of young women, often overlapping with a disease called lupus, um, uh, you have recurrent blood clots. Even though we have been knowing this for 30 years, um, our standard of care has been incredibly poor and old fashioned. So the, the goal here is that uh, understanding the drivers of the disease, that we can develop precision immunotherapies that can really specifically seek out the drivers and eliminate them. And if we are successful, the hope is that we're able to essentially eliminate all the drivers of the disease, uh, cause long-standing de long disease remission, and essentially make patients independent from medication. And as a first step, we developed a therapy that we call a precision cellular immunotherapy. We call this catcher T cells. The idea is that you have a precision engineered T cell that catches the bad actors and eliminates them. And um, we achieve this by precision engineering new receptors that can very specifically bind to the self-reactive immune cells that drive an autoimmune disease, but they wouldn't be able to bind to other immune cells. So with that, the T cell that we engineer as a, a living drug would not be able to get rid of normal cells, but would very selectively hunt down and kill the cells that are driving the disease. We started with a disease called antiphospholipid syndrome. That's a rather uncommon autoimmune disease in which Often young women have recurrent thrombosis, blood clots. Um, this is often a stroke, a heart attack, or a pulmonary embolism. In young women, you also often see recurrent pregnancy losses and pregnancy complications. And we currently don't have good treatment for that. The Harrington Discovery Institute has been really filling a critical gap that exists in academia for me. And that is the gap between um, developing therapies on the bench, both in, in petri dishes and you know in animal models, and then where our expertise starts again, running clinical trials. It is incredibly invaluable because there is no mechanism typically in academia to achieve that. And I think it takes a lot of vision, and, I, and that's what I'm grateful for, for the Harrington Discovery Institute, and the vision, frankly, of the Harrington family, right, to put something in place that allows us to really accelerate discoveries from the bench and allow them to, to move towards the clinic.